Hey YouTubers, I hope you're enjoying the content. Before we get to today's video, I want everyone to go hit that bell over by the subscriber button so you're notified every single time I upload. Enjoy the video. Hey, hey YouTubers! YouTubers. <laughs> That's MJ. I'm Mark. We're going to be talking to you guys about basically subplots that should have happened in Dragon Ball Super. And I brought MJ on. He doesn't necessarily know what I'm thinking, I don't think, so this is going to be I a little bit I always know what you're thinking, man. <laughs> For you guys who don't know, me and Mark, we do share a brain, so there you go. <laughs> it's, it's kind of uncomfortable at some points. But anyway, guys, <laughs> I have an idea. And maybe MJ. MJ is always good to bring on here because he can always help come up with, like, awesome scenes or moments or something. And I come up with the, the general plot. But subplots for Dragon Ball Super and the Shampa arc in particular. So one of the things we remember from the Shampa arc, when Universe 7 went to fight Universe 6 in the tournament, one of the biggest issues on that tournament a lot of people had was the fact that we were just basically at that tournament for the longest time. And for the most part, when we look at, you know, when we look at, Dragon Ball tournaments. We're not usually at that tournament the entire time. Uh, when the most, the biggest emphasis is the stuff that's happening inside the ring. They also cut to things happening outside the ring or places far beyond what was going on. I mean, even classic Dragon Ball. You remember all the little antics and everything and breaks that they would take from the tournament or the fights in general uh, and basically have a fun time or show all these people doing anything else like Goku. Uh, you know, in the 22nd tournament, it was Goku trying to be taken out of the ring or out of the fight to the point where he'd be disqualified from the movie star guy. I can't remember his name. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, even in the 21st tournament, them taking a break and having dinner and going to the bar and all this other stuff. So there's always been these, I guess, side stories or stuff going on more than just this is just about fighting. And I remember a lot of people saying that that was a bad part about that that show uh at least that arc of the season of the show whatever you want to call it so i think what they could have done so at the beginning of this they had goku go visit gohan and piccolo as they were training after the fukatsu no f arc and goku goes like look i want you on my team you have a lot more potential than anyone else and i want to just i want you to fight with me and gohan's like totally yeah this would be awesome and then he's like yeah we're going like what next week or something he's like oh no i had this conference and uh <laughs> shit like uh can we can we postpone it and he's like oh we can't so uh, that's basically how that that ended up taking place and all that stuff so we never went back to gohan and i think that that was a huge mistake for the series in general because one of the things they could have done is throughout the tournament they could have cut back to Gohan and I think what they could have done considering the fact that he had actually gotten his uh I don't want to say his fighting since back because that's the term they've been using a lot in this particular arc of Dragon Ball Super but maybe hinting at the fact that Gohan needed to get his fighting since back and one of the things I would like to see is him going basically through the motions of the conference, giving speeches, uh, listening to speeches, and all this other stuff, but these shenanigans going on where everything in the conference reminded him of fighting, especially fighting in like a tournament style t thing or just fighting in general, uh, just comedic moments of people putting him on guard, trying to be better than everyone, quick reflexes, and all that other stuff, and maybe even stopping some nefarious people or something in order to give us an interesting B plot to everything going on in that particular tournament. MJ, what are your thoughts? No, I completely agree. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, it would be kind of cool for him to kind of like just when he's up on stage kind of just like visualizing fights and stuff like that. But I was thinking <laughs> of maybe uh, going a bit farther than that and actually giving him like this actual subplot where he had to take out a villain. And people, I got to say, I did love the great Sandman stuff. And I love, you know, super great Sandman. I loved all that stuff. But just to kind of like play devil's advocate here, Jocko did go with, you know, the Universe 17 to the you know the god destruction tournament right mm -hmm. so he left his ship there on earth so being jocko you know jocko being jocko what if he left the water gosh there and then the water gosh escapes <laughs> so then basically you have gohan take out the water gosh like, let's say maybe there's some guy he's competing with at the conference who wants that job or who wants that scholarship or whatever and maybe he's trying to sabotage gohan and he has like you know uh, 
evil thoughts, you know what I mean, on what he wants to do, you know, he's a very greedy person, very greedy and evil businessman, kind of like Frost, you know what I mean, that would actually be a nice parallel that we, that maybe we get to that before the Frost heel turn, and it was kind of like them teasing the whole, and I'll get a bit weird, okay, so <laughs> basically, Go for it. you have like this greedy businessman, you know, who wants to like take out Gohan, you know, as far as with the Congress, like the Congress, like I can't fucking speak. <laughs> From the conference. So then, you know, the water gosh, you know, follows Gohan, and, you know, it uh, takes over that guy, and basically Gohan has to fight him, you know what I mean? So I think that would have been, like, a very cool, interesting way to kind of help tease the idea that Gohan will be getting his fighting sense back. I mean, whether he does his great Sandman or Gohan, it's up to you, but uh, it w- would be cool to get something like that maybe to happen. Of course, that throws kind of the whole filler stuff that happened later in the arcs, later after this arc you know, into up in the air, but I think that would be kind of like a cool way to kind of do that, you know, one of Jocko's villains that he just left in the, <laughs> he's like the cup holder of his ship, <laughs> just like escape it, <laughs> go on as the fight, I think that would be kind of like a cool uh, thing to do for him, like, I don't know what you think about that. No, I, I completely love that idea. Personally, the one thing Super, at least in my opinion, has had a very hard time doing is setting up interesting subplots that is going on while the main story is going on we get a lot of that stuff in the slice of life episode so i'm not necessarily complaining to any real degree but at the same time i want to see other things happening i want to break tension i want to do something where it's not necessarily drowning in one particular fight or one particular area for too long uh the biggest issue i have with dragon ball and the reason i'm doing this particular i guess uh, series. I don't know if you'd call it a series, but more of just like a general discussion type of concept uh, is Dragon Ball has so many awesome characters, so many side characters who who can really thrive in their own little short slice of life stories that don't have any real stakes. But because this is a shonen manga, it could really do a lot of good for the most part as we. We, we explore these characters, we explore their situation, and we see how they fight in any particular time or anything. Any particular time or anything like that. So I, I think that that would have actually helped this series move forward and taken out a lot of the need for these filler episodes other than the fact that, yes, we do need to actually have these filler episodes because we're also waiting for the manga to catch up and we're trying to tell the story the best way we can. So we're trying to build up to the whole tournament of power and how goku and gohan are basically going to interact between all of this stuff but that's not to say that this is a filler content for the most part even if it is considered canon and there's no necessary uh guideline with the manga they could have figured out something else for gohan to do if they wanted to give him some episodes or uh even better they could have actually given other people episodes who are going to be fighting instead of giving them side plots on other episodes giving them their entire episode instead of giving ten shinhan and roshi making them share one episode or or letting krillin in 18 have an episode where instead of goku going and fighting krillin in 18 we get to see like how they've progressed and all this other stuff so they're building it uh, and not necessarily throwing it all in there. Or maybe even going to any other universe instead of making episodes split between what's going on. At the same time, I like that, but I feel like it's been a little bit rushed because they did spend a lot of time giving Gohan all this character development very late in the game in order to show just how much he's grown and how much he's progressed since, I guess, the earlier parts of Dragon Ball Super and how much he wants to... Uh, protect his family and everything else like that so that is actually a really interesting concept is basically take an old or a a later filler arc and put it where it should have been uh basically a a b c plot going on while this other thing is going on having gohan basically retain his fighting sense and maybe even getting the thrill of fighting back so once we get to this particular portion of the series it would have actually made a lot more sense and felt like it was actually leading to something far more than it was back then. The only problem I have with this, and I want you to think about this with me, is how how if this if this would have were to have happened, if Gohan was quote unquote getting his fight, fighting sense back back during the Champa arc, does he neglect and completely take himself away? from the future trunks fiasco that happened before uh before any of this tournament of power type of situation 
Well, that's kind of a tough question because they chose not to tell him. You know what I mean? Like Trunks, I think went there with the uh, with the intention of telling him what was going on. But after seeing, I guess, like how happy he was and stuff like that, I guess he didn't want to say, "Put on your fighting geek, come back with me." I guess. <laughs> I guess. But uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, he had those flashbacks. He's probably thinking, "Man." I already lost one Gohan, you know, I don't want to take another Gohan and lose him, you know, so I guess maybe that was what they were going for with that, but at the same time, um, I mean, it ended up happening, so I can't just say, it's it's weird why he didn't just fly over there to Capsule Corp, and then like, but then he, he did do that, him and Chi Chi flew over there, so, you know, he found out, it's just that they didn't take him with them, you know. Who knows? Maybe it's because the time machine was too small, I don't fucking know. <laughs> but they, well, the, 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 the one thing I will say there is, and I think it would have still worked, but at the same time, it because he didn't know. I think it might have still worked, considering if we think back to the whole Future Trunks stuff. Piccolo told Trunks, forget about it. Like, Trunks is like, Piccolo was the one who's like, I know what you're thinking. Stop. Like, it's not, that's not who Gohan is. And if this was going on during the tournament, if he was getting his fighting sense back and feeling like maybe he might want to start reintroducing himself to that particular life that he lived when he was younger. Maybe Piccolo wouldn't have known about that if he was fighting in the tournament. That uh, is true, but at the same time, though, Piccolo did tell him that, and he still went with the intention to kind of like go see him. So I, I guess he wanted to see for himself. So, I mean, Piccolo still could have told... Piccolo, him and Piccolo wouldn't have had that conversation, but he still would have seen how happy Gohan was. It, it's really up in the air what, what would have happened there. But I've always had this headcanon idea that... Uh, you remember when they come back, Piccolo and Gohan weren't there? And how when Gohan shows up, he's sweating and all that stuff, and he's with Piccolo? I kind of assumed they were training. So what like, the idea that I had was that... Uh, maybe they were training as kind of like the B team, you know what I mean? Like if the A team couldn't take care of the situation, <laughs> the B team would go in and try to handle it because obviously Piccolo knows the Mafuba, then, you know, Gohan being able to transform into a Super Saiyan, they're the most logical to take back to the future, you know? Like they're the yeah. most logical to go back and kind of help with the situation. So I kind of always figured that's what they were doing. They were training just in case. Like you remember that filler scene where Yamcha and like Krillin are like fighting Alibu and stuff like that? And <laughs> Kyle Sama's <laughs> like, if the A team doesn't fail, you guys are going in. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, if the A team fails, you guys are going in. You know, the B team. And yeah. Krillin was like, what? <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> you know, we lost to a weaker boo. How are we supposed to go help with this boo? <laughs> You know, so yeah. it's like, I, I kind of saw the situation as that, that that's what they were going for, at least with the writer's attention. But, um, I mean, the thing with the whole fighting sense is it's weird, dude, because like in episode 89, no, not 89, what the fuck, episode uh, <laughs> 79 or 8, no, episode 80, episode 80, he fights Lavender, right? So, mm -hmm. um, this is weird to me. I always thought this was, this was weird. I feel like this was just the writers being inconsistent with each other. Uh, Gohan's blinded, and then Lavender's trying to hit him, but yeah, he's using, like, Lavender's, like, uh, footsteps, and then he starts to block Lavender, and even Bergamo's like, oh, ho, 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 this is a fighter, you know what I mean? Like, this ain't, a, this ain't like, <laughs> Boo who was laughing, you know? He's like, this man shows potential, you know what I mean? Like, with that deep voice, right? And then on top of that, uh, Lavender goes into the air, and then Gohan goes Super Saiyan, and Whis is, like, impressive. He's using his key as, like, a radiator to, you know, figure out where he's at in the air. And even Gohan was, I mean, even Goku was smiling. So it's like, that's pretty darn impressive. I ain't seen anyone do that, <laughs> you know, in Z. <laughs> but then, like, Goku goes back, and he's like, ah, oh, he wasn't that impressive in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? so it's like I don't know. That's supposed to be pretty smart, you know what I mean? That was a pretty smart thing to do. Even Wiz was impressed, but then Goku goes back and he's like, "I don't know, Piccolo. The dude lost his fighting sense. Can you help him?" So it's like, what do they consider fighting sense? I don't know. <laughs> like, what do they consider smart fighting? I don't know. But I always thought that was cool, you know what I mean? And I always thought that was like a little plot convenience because if you remember, he was blinded and he couldn't sense Universe Nine. He mm -hmm. still did a good job. Remember that was a point, that was that was a point that was brought out. Yet he was blinded and he couldn't sense Krillin, but Krillin still took him out. That was weird. That was like a, like I'm telling you, there must have been like an inconsistent like you know thing with the riders there. But anyways, yeah. uh, my point going forward on that, it's like I don't know if how Trunks that would have helped Gohan in the future Trunks arc. That him like fighting like a villain, whether it's a Wadagash or a newer villain. But to kind of add on to what you're talking about, is that I feel like Super all together up into the future Trunks arc was really bad with its timing and what i mean by that or like you know how like they kind of like pan stuff out and how they do certain things and go by certain aspects is because when you go to the frost versus goku fight 
That fight, dude. Let me, let me break it down real quick. So, Goku st- steps into the ring. Fights Botamo. Beats Botamo. Then, Frost comes in. They fight in Frost's uh, first form, third form, final form. And then and he kicks Goku out. All that happened in one single episode. So, and then, oh, and then the backstory. The, in, in between the transformations, they included a backstory. All of that happened in one single episode. What I think they should have done is Batamo versus Goku should have been one full episode. And then when Frost steps up to the plate at the end of that episode as a cliffhanger, the next episode starts with a flashback to Frost's life. You know what I mean? And then we kind of get insight on who Frost is. That way they don't put the fucking flashback during the actual fucking fight. You know what I mean? I felt like that should have been something like what they should have done. Like half of that episode, or maybe even the full episode, should have been like Frost and Kaba as freedom fighters doing their stuff. And that would have been the why, and that leads into why Kaba was so like, no, you know, he's not a bad guy. You know, like he's arguing with the ref and arguing with Champa and them. You know, I they could have did that, and I think that would have been a lot better. And people might say, well, hey, they're at a tournament. Well, hey, you gotta remember this is an anime. They they got cinematic timing. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. So it's like <laughs> they could have easily just did that, in my opinion. But they don't yeah. like. I feel like the up until the Future Trunks arc, they were really bad with their timing and stuff. Because with the Future Trunks arc, they did do what we were wanting. We didn't really get subplots, but we did get stuff where we were in the middle of a fight and it cut back to you know Universe Seven, the main timeline. And then it cut back to like the peel off in the gang, you know. Then it cut back to like Bulma working on the time machine. You know what I mean? Like, it was mm-hmm. cutting back and forth between that stuff. So, it did get better during there. But before that, I feel like it was all wonky, you know, with what they did as far as, like, with the tournament stuff. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Maybe they were just trying to find their footing. But at the same time, I mean, they could have easily cut back to Gohan. They had Pan and Fidel there, Chi-Chi, uh, Piccolo, all these other people. I mean, they weren't with everyone, but they could have freely gone in between the the viewers and their own kind of platform that they were staying on. And they could have used Videl and Pan as kind of a jumping point off into seeing exactly what Gohan was doing at any given time, or Goten and Trunks and anybody, really. Or even just Kaba, because Kaba reminded a lot of the people, like a lot of the fans about Gohan. I mean, he kind of looks like Gohan for the most part. So uh, they could have used all of this thing, like all of these kind of jumping off points to give us some kind of indication of what Gohan was doing during that tournament. And I think a lot of people really would have appreciated it, honestly. I think if there's one point I want to get across here is I feel like a lot of fans would have appreciated the fact that Gohan was given at least something to do during that tournament and they didn't forget him entirely. I think a lot of people had huge issues with the fact that they basically just forgot him. He wasn't necessarily important at all uh, throughout that entire Bro, tournament. It's worse than the this. manga, dude. I think Torch was only drawn on like once, dude. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> He's yeah, like completely the- absent in the manga. <laughs> Well, like, that's the point. Like, that's the point is Gohan is such a fan favorite that you would imagine, like, a lot of people wanted to see what he's up to. And it just felt like such a shame after having him basically sit out that entire tournament with the idea that he's going to this conference in order to get a job. And then he basically turns down the job in order to take it later. Uh, It just didn't feel like it was actually, like, building to anything. And if they had had him do anything basically have him get his fighting sense back or anything that we're talking about in this video it would have helped indicate indicate that yeah maybe he's getting his fighting sense back maybe he doesn't want to do this particular thing because he can't get this whole concept of he needs to be this way and he doesn't need to be this way out of his head and still struggling with that idea of himself or that self-idealization for the most part and he could have he, he, it would have helped uh, feed into the whole, no, I'm going to turn down the job thing and then I'm going to take it back later after talking with Fidel or something in order to give the fans what they wanted, a, a go-on that they could respect, they can enjoy seeing and all this other stuff that we've been wanting since the very beginning of Dragon Ball Super. And that's one thing that we're sorely missing. And it would have been something that they, that would, to me would have been a bit special. Whether, yeah, you take the, you take something that they did later on and basically adapt it for earlier on in the series or if you if you come up with something completely different it would have been awesome oh yeah definitely i definitely agree with you on that 
But anyway, guys, I want everyone to go down to the comment section below and tell us what y'all's thoughts on this. Did Gohan have been cut back to seeing some kind of story with him during the fight with Universe 6 and Universe 7 during the Shampa arc? Or did they do it right and basically leave him, left him alone until this particular arc or anything else like that? Make sure to share those comments. Don't forget to go to the, the description section, hit that link, and go subscribe to MJ for more awesome Dragon Ball content for the future. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This on this video uh hit that bell over by the subscriber button for more uh, up-to-date information whenever i decide to upload you'll get the notification and you won't miss anything anyway guys with that being said we're gonna catch you on the next video bye